Hello and welcome to the video. This is the top 20 of the rarest and most valuable coins that can be found in UK circulation. Stay tuned till the end of the video. I've got a special mention for the 10 pences, but this is going to be concentrating on 50p's and £2 coins. So let's get straight into it. This is Olympic Go Ball. It came out in 2011. It's got a mintage of 1,615,500 and its value, depends on the condition, is worth up to £3. Number 19 on the list is Olympic Tennis. It's 1,456,000 are in circulation. That's its mintage figures. You'll have to get used to a lot of 2011 coins. There was 29 that were minted in total to commemorate the 2012 London Olympic Games. And there's a fair few in the top 20. So that's value, £4 minimum, maybe it's up to £5, especially this one because it's in lovely condition. We found this in, we found all these coins in circulation on our coin hunts. Okay, the next two coins both came out in the same year, 2018. They're both part of the Beatrix Potter series and they both have exactly the same mintage and value. So mintage is 1,400,000. This is the Peter Rabbit, the Flopsy Bunny, and they're both worth four, five, maybe even six pounds, depending on the condition. We're back to the Olympic coins now, still on 50 pences. This is the triathlon coin. You can see the three sports there. It's got a mintage of 1,163,500 and value 10 to 12 pounds. Olympic judo, that's the next one on the list. Similar mintage, super low at 1,161,500. Similar value, 10 to 12 pounds. The wrestling coin, now this is slightly lower mintage than the, uh, than the judo. This is 1,129,500 and it's not quite as valuable. This is 10 pounds, 8 to 10 pounds. It's not quite as popular. Scarcity has an impact on value as does quality, but also uh, its popularity as well. So people tend to maybe not favour this wrestling coin as opposed to the judo coin even though the mintage is lower. But this one's in stunning condition. So Lady M and I found this in our coin hunts on our channel, and it's worth eight to 10 pounds. Right, the final Olympic 50p on the list, although there is some Olympic two pounds to come up as well. This one is Olympic football. It's the offside rule explained. Its mintage is 1,125,500. Again, in 2011, it came out. It's the rarest Olympic 50p. It's also the most popular, and that's reflected in its value. You're looking at at least £15 if you find this coin in your change or in circulation. Right, we'll move on now from the 50p's to some £2 coins. So this is number 12 on the list of the top 20. This is the King James Bible. It's a £2 coin. Came out in 2011. It's minted. All the £2 coins are under a million mintage. This one was 975000 its value, somewhere between five and seven pounds, depending on the value. You will find that the two pound coins are not as valuable as the 50p's because the 50p's are generally more popular with collectors. Right, we're back on the Olympic theme here, 2008. This is the Beijing coin. So Beige or the Beijing handover to London coin, I should say. So in 2008, they handed over the Olympics from Beijing to London, ready for 2012 and the Royal Mint released this coin to commemorate that event. This is a mintage of 918,000 value, maybe it's just four, four to five pounds, so not much more over its face value, despite it having a mintage of less than a million and being number 11 on this list. Right, we blast into the top 10. This is another Olympic coin. There's one more after this one, but this is the, the centenary coin, the centenary of the London Games that was held in 1908. So the Royal Mint released this one in 2008. Mintage again, pretty low, 910,000, value four to five pounds. The final Olympic, although not the final sports coin, this is the uh, handover from the London Games to Rio. So in 2012, the London Games handed the baton over to Rio because Rio held the Games after London and the Royal Mint commemorated that event with this coin. Mintage-wise, 845,000 were minted. Carries a little bit of extra value with this one, I think. Condition makes a big difference because they can discolour quite a bit if they've been in circulation a while. This is a nailed-on £5 coin. Right, the sports theme. 
it carries on. It's not Olympics this time, it's Commonwealth, and you're going to see a version of this coin four times in the top 10. So the Commonwealth Games were held in the UK in 2002, and the Royal Mint released four versions of the same coin. So the design's the same, with the exception of the flag. So the flag there is Scotland, so all the four nations of the United Kingdom are represented, and this is Scotland. It's the highest mintage of the four 2002 Commonwealth Games coins, but it's just 771,750 minted, and you're looking at a value of around £10 there. Right, England closely follows Scotland. 650,500 of these were minted. The flag will is different. So you've got the, you've got the England flag there rather than the, the Scottish flag. Uh, this one is a, a little bit more uh, valuable. Not much more. Maybe it's 10 to £12, pounds, something like that. Again, this condition does make a lot of difference. But it is slightly lower minted. So a little bit more value. Right, now this one. This is a de definitive coin, this one. This is the Britannia £2 coin. So this is the, the standard design. So in 2015, the, U, the UK's definitive standard £2 changed to this design. They've been in circulation. They were, they were circulated uh, three different years, right the way up to uh, 2022 before it changed in 2023. But it is just a definitive. It's not, it doesn't commemorate anything specific like all the other coins uh, so far have on this list. And that affects its value. So it's a 2015 coin, which is the lowest mintage of the uh, of the Britannia series that were released into circulation. But because it is the definitive coin, it's maybe it's just four or five pounds. So 650,000 is is really low low minted. Right on we go. We're into the top five now. Uh, this has got the same mintage as the last coin, 650,000. This was commemorating the First World War, the centenary of that. This is commemorating the Royal Navy's contribution to the First World War. And this coin, round about £5. Again, condition makes a difference. Um, even though the, I say the design makes a difference as well, even though this is lower minted, the, the Commonwealth Games before then, uh, the two coins I've shown you for Scotland and England do carry more value than this. So it's not as popular, but I think it's a, it's a lovely design, this one. Say four or five pounds, depending on the condition. Right, fourth on the list, we've got the third out of the four Commonwealth Games. This is Wales. You'll see the Welsh dragon uh, in the in in the in the in the circle there. The rest of the design is the same. So this mintage was is is less again. This mintage is just five hundred and eighty-eight thousand five hundred, and its value is around about twenty pounds. Commonwealth Games Wales. Right, the final two pound on the list and the most valuable by quite a way. This is Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland. 485,500 minted. Came out in 2002 along with the other four coins. And just have a little look at the flag there. A lot of people can mistake this flag for the English flag because the longer these coins are in circulation, the more they wear out. So in the middle of that flag, right in the middle, there's a star. Just above the star, there's a crown, but it wears out quite a bit. So a lot of people do mistake it for... England, as it's very, the flags are very similar. Look, that one, that's Northern Ireland. There's England. But if you look closely, there is no, no bumps, no additional design on the flag there. So you keep your eye out for this one. This is the one you want. This is the the Mac Daddy, the top boy. Or when it comes to two pound coins, it's the rarest. It's the most valuable. It's at least thirty pounds, possibly even up to forty if you get one in nice condition. Right, we are going to round off the top twenty. With the 50 pences now this is the holy grail of coin hunting it's the 2009 kew gardens it has got a really super super low mintage of just 210,000. it is the coin that all 50p coin collectors want it's been scarce for a long time its value is a whopping 150 pounds now it's only second on this list because there is a coin that is lower minted than this one uh, however I believe that this will continue to be the holy grail of coin hunting as uh, as time goes on because it is a commemorative design. It's got the pagoda on there and it's commemorating 250 years of the Kew Gardens in London. So if you've got that, this is the most valuable coin on this list and you're looking at £150. Is it depending on the condition? Right, the top one, the gold medal. So you've had lots of sports um, themed coins here, but this is the gold medal. This is the lowest minted. It's a definitive, so as I was explaining with the Britannia with the £2 coin, well, the 50p has definitive coins as well. This is the Atlantic Salmon, 
this was uh, all the UK's definitive coins, so the normal standard coins were redesigned in 2023 uh, as a result of King Charles taking the throne. And this is the Atlantic Salmon and a mintage of just 200,000. Now, its value, round about £100. When the mintage figures were released in 2024, so they released one year after this coin was released into circulation, the coin did rocket to £150. The, there was quite a bit of hype and it did die down a little bit. I think it'll continue to be, uh, the, the hype, I don't think will continue or it'll, it'll hover around about the £100 mark because the, 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 the Kew Gardens will continue to be the most sought after because it's definitive this one isn't so in this is a 2023 coin there's a version of this with a crown at the bottom of the king's head as well that came out in collector's pack they also released another version of this in 2024 and as time goes on they'll release more and more for you know in many years to come so i think it'll just make this coin less desirable so even though it is the rarest in uk circulation it is not the most valuable the q gardens is so there you have it. Keep an eye out for that in your change. Now, I promised you an insight into the into the 10 pences. So these are, well, these are a phenomenon. So in 2018 and 2019, the Royal Mint released A to Z 10p sets. So 26 different designs, all with each with a, a different letter on, A right the way to, to Z. And um, yeah, these are oh, ridiculously, ridiculously low minted almost impossible to find in your change or in circulation because they're super low. Now, in 2018, so this coin the, with the A on is a 2018, so let me just show you. So in 2018, every letter had the same mintage figure. So it was 220,000 of the 2018 coins was released. So slightly higher than the Q Gardens at 210,000. So what they weren't the rarest in circulation at the time but pretty close to it so every letter a to z 2018 220,000 and they I say they, they do attract a premium these the, these coins you can be you can be looking at per coin absolute minimum kind of three four five pounds but they go absolutely insane when exactly the same design but with just 2008 uh, 2019 on the front there the prices go absolutely ridiculous so you could pay 22 pounds for the letter a if it was a 2019 coin and this letter Z just 63,000 of these were minted so value it's difficult to, to, to value this one because the letter A is more valuable I think generally speaking it's accepted that people the, the, the vowels and the ones that have got a lot of letters in, in, in standard names or popular names in, um, in in the UK attract more value so if people want to you know want to have the uh, the vowels the A is more valuable than the Z because not many maybe names that have a Z in, for example. So popularity does make does make a difference. It's a generalization, but you, but you get the gist. So the A is more popular than the Z, and there's a few anomalies in between. So the B is for James Bond, so that's that's quite popular as well. But yes, you can be paying £20 plus for some of these letters. So certainly well worth uh, just checking the change, or you know, if you know anybody who's got a, a money jar, money box with 10 pences in, have a look to see if you've got any of the designs. I say there's 16 different ones with all the letters. So an honourable from A to Z. So an honourable mention for them as well. Okay, if you like coins or you like coin hunting or treasure hunting or you want to know how easy it is to find these coins in your change, then please do subscribe to the channel. We, Lady M and I, we hunt through at least two bags of 50 pences every week. That's 500 pounds worth of 50 pences. I tend to look through the two pounds every Sunday as well, go through 500 pounds worth of two pound coins as well. Trying to fill our books, trying to find one of every commemorative that you can find in UK circulation. So please do turn on that notification bell, watch some future videos, watch some more old videos, stick a like on this video. Let me know, really interested, do you have any of these rare coins? Let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.